Okay, it's been 10 minutes and my fish is simmering away nicely. You can just turn the heat off now and we need to take the fish out and pop it on the board. So just nice and carefully so that the fish doesn't break up too much. Just remove it and pop onto a board. And we're just going to do this, uh, leave the salmon out just so it cools slightly so we can handle it, so we don't burn ourselves. And the other one. And we can just leave these, the salmon to the side, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to swap the pans around because we're going to use the milk, but we want to get the heat on our other pan now. So just again on using the same burner, the smallest burner on a full heat, we just turn the heat on and leave that there whilst we drop in our tagliatelle into the boiling water. So just straight in, here we go, and then just give it a little stir. And by stirring it as soon as you put it into the water, that's when all the starch gets released from um, the pasta, so it'll stop it sticking together. Good. So we can leave the pasta to boil, and in the time it takes the pasta to be ready, everything else will be done. So next we just need to add just a little teaspoon of oil to the pan, to the big pan, sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself to your frying pan or your wok. And then just give it a little swirl around and we're going to add in the shallots next. So add in the shallots. And as this comes up to the heat, the shallots will just cook slightly, which all we're looking to do with the shallots is just get the raw taste out from them. So just give it a little stir around. And it's just gently cooking them. And if your pasta's boiling like mine, you can just turn it down so it's a, a simmer. There we go. So you don't want it boiling over. So we'll just give these shallots another little stir, and they'll only take probably another 30 seconds. It's just so they don't have that raw onion taste. And if you haven't got your mustard out, you can go and get that now. See how easy this is? There we go. So the shallots will just be ever so slightly cooked, and that's exactly what we want. So we can now add in two tablespoons of the mustard. And that's the Dijon mustard. we go. And we'll just give this a little stir in just to mix it together with the shallots. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the milk that we've used to poach the fish to thin out the sauce. And it'll stop it being quite a, as harsh a mustardy taste and obviously you're going to get all the flavour from the salmon. So just using a, a dessert spoon, all we're going to do now is just spoon some of the, the milk into the, your pan. Probably going to just look about five spoonfuls. Just try not to get any skin if the skin's formed. Oh, I don't know, that, I think that's four, five, and we'll just give that a stir in as well. Here we go. Just a really nice, easy sauce. I think we're going to just add a couple more spoons of milk in. There we go. So hopefully yours is looking something like this. There we go. A couple more spoons of milk. And so we'll just stir the milk in and then we'll just give our pasta a stir and a check. Should be almost done, but not quite, I think. So just pull a bit of pasta out, carefully you don't burn yourself, and have a bite. Almost done. 
It should be, you should be able to bite it, but it shouldn't be so soft that it's just completely spongy. Right, we can add in our parsley now, into the mustard. And we can turn the heat down now, because all the cooking's done. So I've just turned the heat right down so it's barely on. And then just stir in the parsley. Yeah. Nice and easy. Now our pasta will be ready, so you can leave the your pan with the mustard as it is. That's absolutely fine. And go and drain your pasta and bring it back over to the hob. Just turn the hob off that the pasta is on, but it's just drained and sitting in the colander. And then the last thing we need to do is just mix everything together. So we'll take our salmon fillets, which should be just nice, you can hold them now, and just using your hands, just flake the bits of salmon into it. We don't, we're not going to use the skin, so just flake the bits of salmon into it. Try and keep it um, so that there's some nice chunks, don't completely break it up. we go. And then the same with the other fillet. Just into your mustard. And then we're going to gently fold that together and then add in the tagliatelle. But we'll go and wash our hands first because it'll be a bit messy. Here we go. So you can get rid of your salmon board if you want. I'm just going to leave mine there because I need to go and wash your hands now. Okay, and we're just gonna, we can turn the heat off everything now, and then just gently fold in the salmon into the mustard. Just really gently, so that, just turn it over, so that you're not breaking up the salmon too much. It will break up a little, but don't worry, just don't sort of beat it in together, because you do want the, the taste of the salmon, the nice chunks. So if, hopefully your salmon is looking something like this now. Nicely mixed together. And then all we need to do is add in some of the tagliatelle bit by bit. So just taking a spoon of tagliatelle, just drop that in to your salmon and then just fold it together. You're going to have to redistribute the, the salmon because you'll never be able to get it completely incorporated into the pasta without breaking the salmon up. So just do it nice and gently. All you're trying to do is get the, the pasta coated with all the nice flavours. But when we serve it, we'll make sure that everybody's got the same amount of salmon, so there's no complaint. And then another big spoonful of pasta into the salmon. And that should be more or less all your pasta. And then just gently fold that together again. Just trying to mix it through. Again. And we can take this over with your um, with your sort of pasta fork thing, I think you'd call that, uh, over to your work surface with your salt and pepper and we'll be ready to serve up. This is nice and easy now, just need to take the pasta bowl and divide the tagliatelle into the bowls equally. See, you'll never be able to get all the salmon together, so just a nice spoon into the middle, a little bit more, and then just get some of the salmon and you can add that to it as well. 
Okay. And then lastly, we just need to add just a little pinch of salt and pepper to the top. Just a little pinch, like that. Just, so just a pinch of salt and a twist of pepper. There we go. And that's it all done. I hope you enjoy it. To the big pan, sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. To your frying pan or your wok. And then just give it a little swirl around and we're going to add in the shallots next. Just add in the shallots. And as this comes up to the heat, the shallots will just cook slightly. Which All we're looking to do with the shallots is just get the raw taste out from them. So just give it a little stir around, and it's just, here we go, and then just give it a little stir, and by stirring it as soon as you put it into the water, that's when all the starch gets released from um, the pasta, so it'll stop it sticking together. Go. So we can leave the pasta to boil, and in the time it takes, the pasta to be ready, everything else will be done. So next we just need to add just a little teaspoon of oil to the pan. And we can just leave these, the salmon to the side, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to swap the pans around because we're going to use the milk, but we want to get the heat on our other pan now. So just again, on, using the same burner, the smallest burner on a full heat, we we'll just turn the heat on and leave that there whilst we drop in our tagliatelle into the boiling water. So just straight in. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and my fish is simmering away nicely. You can just turn the heat off now and we need to take the fish out and pop it on the board. So just nice and carefully so that the fish doesn't break up too much. Remove it and pop onto a board. And we're just going to do this, um, leave this salmon out just so it cools slightly so we can handle it so we don't burn ourselves. And the other one, gently cooking them. And if your pasta's boiling like mine, you can just turn it down so it's a, a simmer. There we go. So you don't want it boiling over. So we'll just give these shallots another little stir and they'll only take probably another 30 seconds. It's just so they don't have that raw onion taste. And if you haven't got your mustard out, you can go and get that now.